All right, guys, we move over to the Saints here. Uh, you know, we, for all the good Kyron Williams last night in the fantasy playoffs, brutal night for Alvin Kamara, good night for Derek Carr, a lot of garbage time here. Good for you, Jay, 27 of 40, oh, 319 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception as we look at the Saints fantasy leaders right here. But what I really want to go to is Chris Olave catching nine passes for 123 yards. And if you watch Thursday's episode, Fantasy Football Happy Hour, Someone on this desk was not on the Chris Olave over, but way above the alt yards. Take a listen. Or don't. No. All right, we'll get there in a second. <laughs> but before we... All right, let's get to it. Centrum going with Chris Olave to have 120 plus receiving yards at plus 750. Ooh, a bomb. So, yeah, no, a little bomb. I just don't think Chris Olave should ever be that prize in a dome in a game where they are underdogs expecting to need to throw against a Rams pass defense that is worse than their rushing defense. Olave, before the Carolina game, had 119, 114, and 94. Three games in a row. So he's right there on the knocking on the door. I think he can have a big game tonight. So it's 120. Yeah, 120 plus receiving yards, plus 750. Jay, Jay, you should drink free with Chris Olave. Chris Olave drinks free uh, for hitting that over on a plus 750, going for 123 yards. You absolutely nailed that one, Barry. I know you were on Olave's longest reception, 22 and a half. I know he went over, yeah. whatever. He it went, was. he went over 22 and a half. I think at minus 115. So you know, That's not right. not plus Come 750, on. but we're whatever. We still win. made money. A wins a win. We're a team. Wins a win. Uh, so yeah, but that was great. That was a great call. And I actually, Jay, I made a ton of money off of you because what I did. <laughs> No, seriously, I, I not only did I bet the uh, Chris Olave at plus 120 at 750, but I just basically did a ladder bet. Yeah. I took the over in his receiving yards, and then I took the over at 80, at 90, at 100, at 110, all at plus money, continuing all the way up to the plus 750. But, like, he was plus 500 at over 100. Like, I took that. Like, just, you know, it, it – uh, yeah, made me a lot of money last night. I think the market sometimes struggles to adjust to the type of defense that you're playing and how certain players match up against it. So guys like Rashid Shahid and Chris Olave, what do they do really well? They get deep and they have a high average depth of target against a Rams defense that really struggles against explosive passes. And so that was the angle there uh, and glad that uh, people were able to tail that and that Olave went over. And he quietly now, I mean, it, it's been a uneven year for Olave up until this past little stretch but now I mean you look at outside of the Carolina game 123 yards last night and then 119 114 94 uh, come money time Chris Olave is kind of delivering on where he was drafted a thousand percent and you know inconsistent quarterback play he's been in and out of the lineup but after a very promising rookie year last year, we thought this is a guy that can take the next step, and he absolutely has, showing up in a big way in the fantasy playoffs when you need him the most. Uh, he now has, to your point, Jay, over 114 receiving yards in three of the last four. They play the Buccaneers next week as well, pass funnel as defense. That's a, that's a really nice matchup. Uh, the game's not indoors, but still, Olave should get his. He's averaging um, uh, – you know, over 32% target share so far this in uh, last last night. He had a 32% target share. His target share is north of 25% for the season. Like it's just been it's been terrific. It's everything he wanted. Yep, and it'll be an even better matchup against the Bucks than against the Rams, even though it's not in the dome again. Like he was set last night at like 60 and a half, 62 and a half. He, if he should be set at 80 next week. Uh, and the market often doesn't make those big leaps because you want to be a bit more conservative. But uh, that's where he should be set, I think. And Meanwhile, by the way, the Chris Olave. So I don't have a problem with Chris Olave going off. You called him before. Chris Olave is a part of the stick men. Your your crappy <laughs> sixth place team in our show league it's a here. Motley crew of a fantasy team. But you also had Derek Carr, who had the most mm. bull essay um, <laughs> fantasy night. Finishes with 25 fantasy points. Well, I mean, look at this. You're so, in trouble, Matthew. I am in trouble. So look at this. I'm I, to look win. at this. You are now favored to win. I have I have one loss on the season. I have rolled this league. I've been in first place by a wide margin the entire year, and you have barely get in the stick men. The stick, and you're not even starting Easton Stick, which is embarrassing. Like you should call yourself the Nick Men because you are starting at least Nick Mullins, but like um, or the Digs Men. Yeah, I like the, the Dig Men. 
Yeah, you know what it reminds me of? What was that year that like, Aaron Rodgers went like 15-1 and one, and they played the New York Giants in the divisional round? Then like Hakeem Nix catches right. a Hail Mary right. and then Eli takes out Rodgers like 37th to 18 or something. That's what this is. And all I have to say, Matthew, is uh, let them eat cake because that's yeah. a revolution <laughs> in the air and your tyrannical reign of terror is coming to an end. It's, and the thick men yes. are going to rule France I, and take you down. By the way, I believe this to be happening. I am sure this is going to happen. This is what sucks. And like, I have a better team than you, top to bottom. I've done a better job than you. I do. I have a better job. I have a better team than you. I've done a better job of managing it this year. And yet, because of the fantasy gods, because of the way it happens, I lose Tank Dell due to injury. Okay, Sam Howell. Justin Herbert. He's my only good player. He's starting Nick Mullins. <laughs> it's I know like Nick can't. Mullins and Derek Carr, are quarterback. Yes, and you got 25 <laughs> points out of Derek Carr, who's going to wind up. Like, I'm, so starting, I'm starting. I'm starting. I'm starting Joe Flacco Stiker. and Jalen Hurts, and I bet you neither of them get to 25 <laughs> points this no, week. No, I, not. Like, yeah, it's, be it's for complete. Swift. It's complete and utter trash. It, <laughs> it, this is what sucks about fantasy football. I completely agree with you. I, you are the betting favorite. I, I'm definitely going to lose, and I'm going to be insanely bitter and so angry when we come back here, um, I guess, Tuesday. Is our, we're not, we're not, we don't have a show on Monday because it was, it's Christmas, but Tuesday. Listen, one, it's an inspiring story because it goes to show it's not. how terrible your team is. It doesn't matter. I've been gaming the waiver wire like a madman. i got no good players. I've right. been able to manufacture Nick Mullins. I've got Josh Palmer. He gave me 21 points last week. That's the reason I'm here. And here's the other thing, Matthew. I don't care about the final. I don't care about the final at all. <laughs> if you tell me I'm a 100% chance to beat you and 0% in the final, I will take that. Yes, I don't I care know. about the final. I just want to take you I know. down. I know. I'm going to. This is outrageous. And I'm so pissed about this. <laughs> I like this is the league I now care about the most because, yeah. you know, because A, I should win it. Yeah. I've had the best team from start from wire to wire. I absolutely have. That's indisputable. Right? Again, just <laughs> numbers are numbers. Come on. But, right. Come on. I lost to you like 188 to 181. Right. Just, you put up 181 in the league. 140 all season. <laughs> right, exactly. And just yeah. it's it's unbelievable. Um very, very, very What's upsetting. What's the, the The best swordsman doesn't fear the second best. He fears the most unconventional. That's me. I'm right. unconventional. Yeah, I'm Derek exactly. Carr. You are. Exactly. I'm Derek Carr throwing yeah, six right. points. Yeah, you're, you're using swords on your feet. <laughs> yes. And you're like, I, I don't know how to battle that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the best yeah. full circle of this. Are you starring Najee Harris this week? I'm starring Najee Harris. Is Najee yeah. Harris can determine your fate. He's going to torch the <laughs> DJ Reedless <laughs> Bengals run defense. He's going to score three touchdowns tomorrow. I, re- That's exactly I really what's think. Happen. I might put a multi-touchdown Najee you Harris should. bet in. A hundred percent. I, should. I like, might do that too, just because. You need to ease the pain. At least ease the pain. Yes. I, I, do it, Najee. I, Najee your Harris do is going to score twice tomorrow. At least twice tomorrow. That, I'm feeling a it. A thousand percent. I'm going to. I'm. F and A. And anyway, we're going to talk about this later. But yeah, just like all my guys that went <laughs> off last week aren't going to go off. <laughs> Joe Flacco is going to turn back into a pumpkin. Yeah. I can't start Sam Howell. Not against the Jets. Yep. So, right. Jalen Hurts, it'll be like a big DeAndre Swift game. Like, Jalen Hurts won't do anything. Like, you just, I, I know how this movie's turning oh, out. Oh, yeah. We've seen this, this one before. Yeah, we've seen that. Yep. And then you'll, it ends with Penn State Blake holding the trophy above <laughs> all our heads, which is phenomenal. You'll be on FNIA leading into a massive game for Najee Harris, followed by my actual good player, Stephon Diggs, going off in the nightcap. It's yeah, oh, by the way, that's the other thing. Yeah. Stephon Diggs <laughs> is so due for a big game. It's right. been he, like you know, five weeks now. It's been yeah, five. You know it's due, and now he's playing yeah. the Chargers. Yep. Yeah, they have a lot of good corners. Stephon Diggs is absolutely going to have a huge game yeah. uh, because he needs to. Still and Steph. Yeah. Me and you. This, this sucks. Championship bound. This sucks. I'm just telling you, America, this sucks. <laughs> you want to so be good. a fantasy analyst? You want my job? Because this is what it comes down to. This sucks. I'm with you. I, you're going to be, you all you're gonna beat, you're gonna beat me and you're going to torture me all offseason. You're going to beat me with your <laughs> crappy team. I want to say a different word, but it's the holidays. I don't want ah, Stephen yeah. to have to bleep it. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and Rotorworld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.